Hello guys and welcome to the Speedplay base. As I said before, it is time for a base tour and the world download. So in the video description you will find a download link to this world. And you can download it and you can play with it and you can see how I've done things. I haven't... When, look, when I look about around myself, I, I haven't done that much except for get everything up and running and put everything in place and have a functional base. I don't have that many advanced systems yet and that's why I think this is a good place to take a download because everything just works and you can if you want to you can go from here and do whatever you want or you can just check the surroundings but uh, f starting from from now and going forward, I think that builds will start to be bigger and more advanced and they will be more permanent. For example, the AE2 room here is very temporary still. This will be moved into this large room. And I've only prepared for it. I mean, power in here and then, yeah. You know starting somewhere here and that's why i think it's a good place to have a download before i start with that because it will take probably a few episodes or and even more than that to uh, to get everything in place uh, all automation and so on so uh, let's take the tour now and world download and then we'll have a new download some yeah in 10 episodes or so or 15 i, I have no idea an appropriate place. So let's start with just taking the tour. Uh, we can start on top. Let's see, we don't have any creepers here destroying everything. No, okay, good. The tree farm. It's running just fine and it will continue to run until this barrel is completely filled up. Now I had some issues with the, let's see, yeah, I had insertion pipes down here uh, before, but as you see, this is blank and it was uh, just very recently it was locked to charcoal. So I have diamond pipes instead because that seems to be a bug. This tree farm will plant and cut down a tree with an unbreakable... Yeah, what's it called? Hmm... Lava, lava modified lumber axe. So everything will be turned to charcoal and it is completely automated except from the point where this barrel is completely filled up. And there we got this. Yeah, now I have the magnetization ring on me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have that. So as you can see, everything here is slowly drained and the sent down to the base and everything is replanted and refilled so th this works kind of nice this agriculture flower i'm not sure if it works i uh, it's hard to tell it doesn't do any damage let's just keep it there um so this is also a completed system you can actually move this and you can have have it next to the plants or stuff it's uh I hope that it would work with the tree farm, but I, I don't know. Other from that, I have nothing up here. I have a few rubber trees over there and I have all the essence berry bushes that I found. They planted here. I haven't really started to collect all the rubber yet because I haven't really started with the, yeah, industrial craft, for example. But uh, yeah, in a few episodes, perhaps we'll see. So, and I have my mining area down here somewhere, away from the base, so, uh, but you can mine anywhere you want. So let's go down and we can take a look in the main room here. Nothing over here, just prepared for, well, whatever mod that I think is appropriate to have in this swing over here. portal room small and 
nothing else. You will be able to get to and from the nether in here. Yeah. In here. There, this is a completely more, a much more interesting room. It's also, well, semi-automated. We can turn it on. Right now we have the blaze in here. I have an enderman safari net here, so we can switch between this and the one that's in, in the spawner at the moment. Occasionally, other mobs will spawn in here, so that's why we have some random stuff. My common treasure. Fun stuff. The power generation, it's not really automated. You need to manually fill with charcoal so far. And this, I, I would like to have this in a yeah, better looking room, a bigger room and automated power. But that's for, yeah, perhaps a tesseract in here or something. So, bad luck with the blades rods. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, let's turn it off. Okay, we got one more. So, all this is driven... It's fueled from power, of course, from this energy cell. It's very consuming, this spawner. But we also need mob essence, and that mob essence come from this open blocks tank. Just hop on up and you can empty your XP into that one. Turn on the XP shower and the portable tank will fill up. So semi-automated, at least it's uh, enough to keep the system running, but uh, not fully automated yet. But at some point, I hope. Do we have nighttime upstairs? No. Okay, there's there are mobs somewhere. Next wing, we have the uh, coke ovens. They are standing still right now. We have some creosote oil, and we have this drum completely filled up, ready for be ready to be used. Two blast furnaces. Coal coke. So make steel if you need to. I have quite a lot in the AE system already, but. Uh, it's kind of manual so far. At some point, this is also be automated, of course, as anything else. <laughs> the smeltery is completely manual. It's just, it just works. We have some all the stuff in here to repair the tools, and uh, yeah, place the lava, lava tank, the portable tank here, and it will fill up. In here, as I said, AE2 future pro project, you can start if you want to. If you do, then send me a screenshot of, or a video how you did it. It would be fun to see. So the end, only AE2 I have is in here and it is about to be expanded a lot. You have some recipes or patterns in these. So you can do stuff and everything works. The Accelerators are manual as of now with this lever. Here you can see device online. That will also be automated in a few episodes, I think. But now you have to do it yourself. In here, we just have all these NRIO machines to do the automated, yeah, all take care of all these patterns to make alloys and uh, dusts and yeah, you know that. And you can add more as well. Uh, they are all upgraded with octadic capacitors, I think it's the highest tier, so uh, these are, well, uh, not extremely fast, but they are quite fast, so you don't need anything else at the moment for your building needs, but if you will, would have a quarry, they wouldn't be able to keep up. We also have the uh, thermal expansion machines. I don't have all of them yet because NRIU works quite fun and quite fine uh, so far but uh, at least you have them for well, fluid transposer and magma, magma crucible they can't really be... Yeah, well for some recipes you don't need them but for some I guess you will definitely need them. We have a power monitor to keep track 
so far we are using roughly 90 RF per tick so this energy cell is filled up quite nicely and that's basically only the AE2 system as soon as you will start to use all these machines you will get a drop but this boiler can produce 160 RF per tick for each and this is of course where the play the place where we get the ender IO conduits so this barrel is almost filled up so the, the tree farm is a lot faster than the boiler and that's quite fun actually considering it's only one tree <laughs> so we have another place for a for another boiler here and we have some plans for this machine room it will probably be expanded in that direction for more power and more machines okay i think that's the top floor or well the first bottom floor in here nothing nothing fun at all then we have a similar room as above it's kind of exactly the same perhaps but uh, we have another color <laughs> color scheme in here this was designed during a live stream and we tried a few different designs and I haven't really settled so far if you pick one you can always show me and it will be fun to see what colors you would have picked uh, as I said I haven't decided yet and the floor will also be replaced but it works for now I have nothing down here except for the botania room and the botania room isn't that much really we have charcoal manually filled the barrel so far you can use a dolly and get the other barrel and so on but yeah it will only run if this mana pool is uh, well roughly half than empty L less than empty so now we're outputting a power of 9 from the comparator and that will turn the system off uh, if we were to use some mana down here we have the alchemy you can yeah you can see it through um, and the runic altar so these uh, it will be automatically refilled if you start to use it and uh, you have at least two and a half pools of mana in stock so it's not that much but it's well enough for all the early stuff so you can at least work your way from here if you do, if you want to if you haven't seen this then check some check the older episode this will this is just an open crate that will drop charcoal on the pressure plate and feed the flowers so quite simple setup and you have all the botania stuff in here once and uh, the mana tablet you will use need the mana tablet when you are if you want the ring of the mantle to be activated good for mining and uh, yeah i have only the traveler's glove as extra equipment so far and i will place everything in this chest So everything here, we'll take the armor, the bubbles, and the glove. No! Oh! Well, that, that sucked. <laughs> oh man, I have to redo that. That was my fault. Jesus, that was that was the most funny thing I've ever seen. I think it's five hundred redstone. To, hmm. Well, I did it, and now now I'm fixing it. Uh, how do I do this? like that and okay right back and the last one so now we have a new one 
Jesus, that was fun. I hope no one watched that because that was too entertaining. Uh, actually, I don't want that. There we are. And let me just put that away. And we have. Let's check the chest this time. Good. The torch and potato. So you should be able to find everything here. And uh, yeah, play around, take a look around, do whatever you want, and show me pictures if you do anything. So I will guess I'll see you in the next Speedplay episode, or another video for that matter. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, have a good one, bye bye.